in this section uh, we will discuss about uh, privilege levels so if we uh, you must have studied in ccna that this particular mode this is called the user exec mode right if i type enable then this particular mode the hash value this is the privilege mode right if i type configure terminal in privilege mode then i will enter into the global configuration mode where we actually do the configurations there are uh, three default modes okay and there are three default modes or i will say privilege modes that are given to us by default okay that is 0 1 and 15 so there are predefined uh, predefined commands that we can run in uh, privilege uh, mode 0 and privilege uh, mode 1 there basically uh, we can run the show commands in uh, privilege 15 everything is allowed so if you exit from here if you type let's say disable so this mode is basically privilege one you can uh, run the show commands okay maybe you can do a ping from here you can do a trace route so but we are not doing uh, any kind of configuration here right so this is uh, the privilege one if you want to see the commands in privilege zero what we can do is just give me one moment so i will say enable cisco let's say if i create one username let's say cisco zero privilege is zero and let's say password cisco zero okay so i have configured the security that the minimum length of the password must be seven let me remove it last minimum let's say one huh? so i'll say username cisco zero privilege zero password cisco zero okay i go to r1 i'll try to access r2 cisco zero password cisco zero now i am in r2 i will say if you see here so this is uh, these are the commands that are allowed in uh, in the privilege mode zero okay disable enable exit help or logout so mainly you will see people working under uh, privilege mode one or 15 or then we have the customized privilege modes that we will discuss today okay so on r2 if i try to configure some privilege mode okay or privilege levels so let's say i have one user okay i want that this particular user can let's say user having or user can run all show commands okay uh, plus he can run let's say uh, configure terminal command okay and let's say he can run the 
interface command this is our task that we need to create one uh, uh, privilege level that will assign to some user so the user can uh, so the user can run all the show commands plus in the privilege uh, mode he can run this configure terminal command and once he is into the global configuration mode he can run the interface command this is our task so how we can achieve this so we'll type privilege exec we will define the level let's say level is 5 and we'll say show so he can run all the show command then what else we want him that he can run the uh, what was our second task he can run the configure terminal command right so he can run the configure terminal next he can also run the interface level command but the interface level command is at configuration level right so we'll say privilege config then we'll say level 5 and we'll say interface and say do show history so these are the commands that are allowed in privilege level 5 what are those commands the user can run all the show commands then he can run the configure terminal command and in the global configuration he can run the interface command now let's create this user we'll say username cisco5 so because the privilege level is 5 so we want to assign some something like this so i will say privilege 5 i will say password cisco5 so we just created one user which is having the username cisco5 password cisco5 and we have assigned privilege level 5 now let's try to access r2 uh we'll say cisco 5 cisco 5 just waiting we'll say show privilege now you can see that the current privilege level is 5 so let's see if we achieved our target show interface show IP interface brief yes we are able to run the show commands right show cdp neighbor so all the show commands we are able to run also let's see if we are able to run the configuration configure terminal command right yes we are able to run it are we able to run interface level command yes we can run for example interface uh, let's say an interface ethernet 3 by 7 now if you see that we have configured the interface that the user can run this particular command right interface level command but if you see here if i put the question mark you are not able to do much on this because we did not configure anything i cannot say ip address you can see i cannot say shutdown no shutdown nothing right so if we want to add the commands what we have to do let's go to r2 i'll show you so you will say privilege and i want to add more commands under the interface 
also i want you to see this that because we added these commands only so i'm not able to run other commands let's say router eigrp or maybe router bgp you can see it is showing us that the command is unrecognized so let's go back to our task so now we want to add more commands under the interface let's say interface ethernet 3 by 7 i want to let's say add shutdown command here okay right now i'm not able to do right so what i will do i will go to r2 i'll say privilege i want to add more commands under the interface command right i will say level 5 and i will say shutdown now let's check if i go to again here now you can see i'm able to run the shutdown command earlier it was showing me an error but this time there is no error okay let's try something else uh, can i no shut yes because shutdown command is valid now can i put an ip address you can see i'm not able to put the ip address so we can say ip address now let's see if i say ip address now you can see now it is allowing me to put an ip address let's say i put anything right so this is how uh, we can configure more commands uh, under some particular command so basically uh, if you say let's say ip address right or let's say interface uh, ethernet 3 by let's say 6 so this particular portion this is called the command and this particular portion after the command this is called the argument okay so command plus argument for example if you say a router now you say bgp eigrp or ospf so this particular portion this is called the command router after that this portion is called the argument okay now you can see that we are also not able to run any command after the router i say router bgp i'm not able to run router bgp right because it is not configured so we can also configure this we'll say uh, privilege first we have to configure uh, the command then we can uh, configure other stuff for example if i go to show run i include privilege you can see for privilege level 5 we are configure shutdown ip address ip you can configure the configure terminal right so now let's say we want to configure bgp so what we'll do we'll say privilege and then when we configure the uh, interface or any routing protocol we are on the global configuration mode right so we'll configure the we will type the keyword configure right because the show commands they are on the uh, privilege mode or the uh, the user exec mode so we'll type this particular uh, keyword this exec right so in the privilege mode uh, the ex user exec mode we configure uh, we uh, run this particular command right that is why we need to type exec but here you can see because the interface level command we run in global configuration mode so we will type configure instead of exec likewise because uh, the bgp configuration or any other routing protocol we are configuring on the global configuration mode so we are typing configure then we'll type uh, the level 5 and then we'll say router let's say bgp okay now i'll go to r1 i will check again router bgp 100 now you can see 
am able to run the router bgp command okay now there is one rule which says that higher privilege modes or higher privilege privilege levels can access all low level privilege access accesses okay so which means that let's say if i create so we have already created uh, privilege level 5 let's create another i'll say username cisco 6 privilege 6 and then i will say password cisco 6 so i created another uh, user which is having username cisco 6 password is cisco 6 and i have given privilege level 6 to this particular user earlier we created privilege level 5 right show privilege sorry show run 5 include privilege okay so now we have two levels uh, user defined levels i would say so we have privilege level 5 wherein we have configured different stuff we allowed all the show commands we allowed the ip address we can run the and uh, we can run the interface level commands and everything right but so far we did not configure anything in privilege level 6 right we did not define anything but we discuss about one condition that all the higher levels can access the lower level so if i go to r1 i'll say exit now let's again access but with privilege level 6 i'll say cisco 6 password cisco 6 now ideally because we did not define any command in privilege level 6 we should not be allowed to configure anything right but now because we already have a lower level configured which is level 5 so now we'll see if we are able to run all the commands that are into privilege level 5 or not if i check show privilege so we are in privilege level 6 so there we were able to run all the show commands right show ip interface brief i'm able to run show cdp neighbor all the show commands are working now this command was also allowed in level 5 now you can see that i'm also able to uh, run this command interface level command was also available there interface ethernet let's say 3 by 7 right ip address command was also allowed you can see that i'm able to run though we did not configure any command under privilege level 6 but because of the rule that it can uh, the higher level can access all the lower level commands that is why we are able to access everything that is available into uh, privilege level uh, 5 and lower right so i am able to run the ip address command i can also run the shutdown command I'm also able to run, let's say, router BGP 200 or 100. So this command is also available there, available here. So this is how the how we can define the privilege levels. Okay. Now, if I say, I will show you one more thing. Uh, what we can do so. Now let's see uh, what are the uh, disadvantages. Okay. So the disadvantage, if I let's exit from here. So let's see the disadvantage of privilege 
level so if i say show run uh, pipe include five so in privilege level five if you see for example we configure uh, where exactly it is i want to show you so you can see that in privilege level 5 we configure it to use router bgp right let me log into level 5 so i am in show privilege privilege level 5 so in privilege level 5 we defined that we can use router bgp command right sorry mm. router bgp command but if you see if i configure router ospf 1 router rip 1 sorry router rip so it is allowing me to configure other uh, protocols also right though we did not define uh, ospf or rip we just defined that uh, router bgp command right so the problem with privilege levels are that privilege levels supports only commands but not arguments okay so as we discussed earlier for example if when i am typing router bgp so in this section you can see that router is the command and this keyword after router like bgp it is the argument likewise router eigrp so router is the command eigrp is the argument if i type router rip so this is our command this is argument similarly if i am typing interface so after interface there are a lot of commands right so this interface is command and whatever we are typing after interface that is called the argument so argument is not supported even though we configured router bgp okay but the privilege level allowed all the other protocols correct so this is the disadvantage of using privilege levels that privilege levels do not support arguments so we cannot control them right so you so you cannot uh, define that okay this but we have one user uh, abc so he can just run on, uh, he can just uh, run these particular four commands show ip interface brief maybe show ip bgp summary or something like that so we cannot do in uh, uh, do that in privilege levels okay so the solution to this and the second problem is that it is not scalable right let's say you have uh, 10 users in your uh, organization and you have let's say 50 devices that uh, you are managing so in all those 50 devices uh, you need to create the username and password uh, for all those uh, users right and let's say if some user uh, is leaving your organization you need to delete the username and password the privilege level for that particular user from all of your devices so this is not scalable uh, the solution to this is that normally that we uh, we already are familiar with uh, that is triple a so we use triple a so that we can automate uh, not automate that we uh, we can have a centralized uh, solution wherein we can define the username and password okay and whenever uh, someone is leaving your own organization you don't need to delete it from everywhere you will just go to your triple a server your authentication server EBIs or ACS so you can delete that particular user from there and it's gone okay 
so uh, we'll discuss uh, triple a in some uh, another video so i hope uh, you like this particular uh, video related to privilege levels so thanks for watching and see you in some another video